All right, so you've heard of Elf on the Shelf, right? Of course you have. We've got a little bugger here who's being a little mis mischievous. Look at that. Came in today, he's been playing on the stupid photocopier, and yesterday he was hanging up there on the emergency light. Some people's kids, I tell you. Some people's kids. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the vlog. Hope your day is going amazing. We're at something special today. This is the first fill-up of diesel from the refinery just up the road. It's the Northwest Redwater Partnership Sturgeon Refinery. First barrel of diesel going into those emergency vehicles back there. There's also some county sanding trucks for the United Farmers Association. It's just exciting. We got uh, the president of NWR here. We got pretty much every news association that you can imagine in the region here this is huge i don't know how how to put it into words just how big this is for sturgeon county for alberta this is amazing this has been years in the making and honestly it's it's exciting i'm pumped those trucks are going to get pumped too Through the magic of editing, you'll notice that we aren't at U of A anymore. We're at Fort Saskatchewan City Hall. And before we get to City Council, I want to show you something really cool. This is called the Enchanted Forest. You see all the Christmas trees behind me? We're going to go walk through there for a second. This one here is the Volunteer Center Christmas Tree. Now, all these different organizations. This one here is the Fort Sask Eye Care Tree. This one is pretty cool. You can see all the little eyeballs there. That's cool. Now, these are all trees decorated by different organizations in Fort Saskatchewan. They all kind of compete against each other. And it's really cool. The first time I came here, I was like, wow, you know, they, they got a lot of Christmas trees. But then I found out, obviously, because, you know, reporter life, you got to ask questions, that this is actually an annual thing. This is the my work here. This is the Mixed Sevens tree. All the different little CDs and pictures from events throughout the summer. That's really sweet. And then this one here, I love the giant nutcrackers on this one here. Lions Club of Fort Saskatchewan, this tree right here. This one is the Riverview Funeral Home tree. And another nutcracker. I, nutcrackers just make it. That is such an awesome touch. And this one here is for careers under construction. You can see all the different little careers they got going on here. They got welder, cook, operator, realtor. That's awesome. And this one's from the Fort Saskatchewan Figure Skating Club. Nicely done up, very nice. And over here, there's a whole bunch more in the library as well. Uh, this one here is STSS. This one over here is the Historical Society. All of these decorations here, they're handmade. Those are all handmade, like you got popcorn, usual traditional popcorn decorations. That's just awesome. And then right over here, we got the Royal Purple Society. Their tree there, obviously. Well, that's pretty hard not to figure out whose tree that is. It's very purple. This one is, of course, the Fort Saskatchewan Chamber of Commerce. That's part of their campaign that they're doing right now. Their FS Shop Local campaign going on. And this one here is from FCSS. Beautifully done trees. And there's a whole bunch there behind there. That's just absolutely awesome. And it just adds to the aura of Christmas in Fort Saskatchewan. All the streets are decorated with all these awesome decorations. Outside of City Hall is just absolutely gorgeous. Like, I stuttered because there's so many words that come to mind just to describe the beauty of, of, of Christmas in Fort Saskatchewan. I don't know if you can see through there, but there's a big giant tree outside and they have that decorated for Christmas as well. It's awesome. Like, I love Christmas just for the very fact that I can get away with a bigger power bill and not have to justify it. It's Christmas. It justifies itself. Like, come on, you got to decorate for Christmas. It's awesome. So I think later on tonight, depending on what time council gets out, I might decorate for Christmas. I don't know. Maybe the next vlog will decorate for Christmas. But either way, it's just absolutely beautiful walking through City Hall and all the Christmas trees. 
time for some city council action, though. And this is the last one before the end of the year. So we have a very, very full agenda this evening. So we are going to get right to it. So council went into in camera. They're upstairs having a private little meeting. This is stuff that isn't public yet and can't be public due to VoIP concerns or privacy concerns. So they're in camera right now. That's our cue to hop back to the house. Don't hate me cause I get attention. Don't turn me